Let me give you the choice. Shouldn't you? Yes, shouldn't you? Andrea, Brand, Sai. Number six. You can't afford to buy the shoes I showed you. You can't afford to buy the shoes I showed you. Can you? Yes, Sai, Christine, Rand, Emma, welcome back, Andre. Well, that was the last exercise for question tags. Still at the beginner level. Well, definite and indefinite articles. Okay. Of course, as you know, A and N are indefinite articles used to refer to a singular countable noun. You know that, right? An indefinite article means that we do not know which one or it is not important to know it. So, uh, which one to use, A or N? Well, the rule states that A, pronounced A, uh, right? A for stress. Okay. So, the rule state, or the rule states that A uh, that, uh, should be used to begin with, of course, consonants, right? Like B, C, D, etc. While N should be used before words that begin with vowels. So, of course, yeah. A E I, but but remember, it should be noted. However, that uh, the usage is determined by the pronunciation, not by the spelling. Yes, exactly. So this includes uh, abbreviations and acronyms. And our exactly code back abbreviations and acronyms. Okay. So to simplify it, one uses a before a word that begins with a consonant, right? Consonant sound sound yes a university okay and n before a word that begins with a vowel sound okay so again a consonant like b c d e uh, sorry f g etc so examples of course you can give me millions and millions of examples a car a hotel a game okay a vowel that is pronounced like you like a European or a university that's right exactly vowel but pronounced like you okay the vowel O the vowel O when it has a W sound like one way a one way street you don't say an one way street a one way okay of course an is used before a vowel O U etc. Of course, examples: an animal, an elevator, uh, an only child, and an aspirated H, like the one given uh, before by code an hour, an honest man, an aspirated H. Okay, great. An abbreviation starting with a vowel sound, like that one. MBA, and MBA, Master of Business Administration, because we say M sound, right? And MBA. Okay. The of course. The is a is a definite article, as you know. <coughs> yeah, used to talk about something specific. You know that. Okay. The town where Julie lives. Very big. Yes, another example. What book is Julie reading? She's reading the book Tom gave her. So that is also used to refer to, yes, rivers, seas, oceans. Examples, the Mississippi River, the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, what else? Nationalities. The British, the Americans, the Japanese. The Chinese, etc. Okay. Last part. No article. No article. Well, no article is used in generalization. Generalizations. Okay. So I like music. I don't, uh, I like music. Okay. I watch television, but I listen to the radio and I go to the cinema. I watch television. Okay. I don't play tennis. 
but I play the piano, the guitar, etc. No article is used for place names. Place names like uh, towns, countries, uh, mountains. Okay? So London, Spain, Mount Everest, except if plural. Plural. The Greek islands, the United States, the United States, the Alps, the, Himal the Himalayas, or the Himalayas. Okay, now, the first exercise, choose a, an, or the, to complete sentence. Easy. Okay, the children have a new teacher called Mr. Green. A, and the, of course, a, uh, yes, or a for stress. Okay, or emphasis. Julie talked for an hour about a school project. Julie talked for an hour. An hour, yes. The teacher read interesting article from the newspaper. And read an interesting article. Yes. European expert was invited to speak to the committee. Of course, a. Uh, yes, a European expert was invited to speak. Okay, number five. That turned on radio to listen to news two spaces the the yes that term on the radio to listen to the news that's right Christine there was a huge crowd of people outside the church hello honey nice to see you again yes there was a huge crowd number seven it would help us if you gave honest opinion and honest opinion number eight Danny wanted new bicycle for Christmas a uh, new bicycle for Christmas the Mississippi River is in United States of America easy the of course all pupils must rules the rule that's right Jennifer tasted birthday cake her mother had made her mother had made that's right last one this exercise Alex is in Boston studying for MBA Andre now comparative okay comparative adjectives as you know are used to compare two things right to compare two things all people to each other right no problem Bill is older than Harry you know that superlative adjectives are used to compare to compare one member of a group to the whole group to the whole group so the Nile in our so formation of compare superlative uh, one syllable well you simply Thank you so much, Sai. Okay, let's begin with one syllable adjectives. Well, you simply add ER or EST to the adjective. Like long, longer than, right? Nice, nicer than, hot, hotter than. Okay, superlative. Yeah, the longest, the nicest, the hottest. Okay, two or more syllables. You add more or less, okay, or most or least. Comparative and superlative. So interesting, more interesting than practical, less practical than superlative, 
of course the most interesting the least interesting okay exactly two syllables ending in Y ending in Y the Y becomes I like two syllables but ending in Y so funnier then easy easier than happy happier than yes superlative of course the funniest the easiest the happiest well remember that there are irregular act, uh, adjectives right like good better than the best right bad worse than the worst okay much or many much or many okay more than the most comparative superlative more than the most okay little or little am I still audible okay good uh, little less than or the least <coughs> less than or the least uh, comparative superlative of course okay far far uh, well farther yes or further farther or further than or the farthest or the furthest let me type it. So far, farther, further than, the farthest, the furthest. But uh, here's another thing to, uh, to take note of. Some two-syllable adjectives have two possible forms of comparison. Common. Yes, you can say common, eh? No problem, you can say more common. Okay, likelier. Yes, you can you can say more likely, no problem. Politer, more polite. Simpler, more simple. Stupider, more stupid. Subtler, more subtle. Okay, adjectives ending with a vowel and consonant. You double the consonant right like big bigger biggest right except except when the consonant is W like in new you say newer you don't double the consonant newest right or Y except when the consonant ends in Y easier we don't say easier do we we say easier right okay so uh, your first task or your first exercise make one sentence one sentence from the two below beginning with the words in brackets beginning with the words in brackets so uh, for example Jack is tall Paul is not tall Jack is Jack is okay type the full sentence Jack is taller than Paul Emma thank you Side. Exactly. Okay, so here's the first sentence. Jeremy is 10 years old. Okay. Charlie is 8 years old. So Jeremy is. Old. Is older. Yes. Is older than Charlie. That's right. Okay, two. The Alps are very high. There are no higher mountains in Europe. The Alps are no higher. So the, the Alps are the highest yes, mountains in Europe. Well done, Emma. Number three. <coughs> yes, thank you, uh, Andrea. Exactly. Number three. An ocean is large. A sea is not as large as an ocean. So an ocean is 
No, you're not. <laughs> Just uh, stop thinking about JLo, and everything will be good. So an ocean is larger than a sea. Yes. Number four. A Rolls Royce costs a lot of money. <laughs> a Mini costs less. So a Rolls Royce costs. A Rolls Royce costs. More than a Mini. John's results were bad. Fred's results were very poor. So Fred's results were bad. We have bad. John's results were bad. Fred's results were very poor. Okay, can you type the full sentence? Fred's results were worse, yes, than uh, Fred's results were worse than John's. <laughs> yes, Emma, thank you. Okay. Number six. This exercise is not very difficult. I expected it to be more difficult. So this exercise is Okay, use difficult. Use difficult. Okay, this exercise is not very difficult. I expected it to be more difficult. So this exercise is less yes, is less difficult then yes exactly brand then the other or oh, then I expected then I expected right number seven exactly Andrea thank you number seven the weather is not very good today it's raining tomorrow I hope the weather will be better yes brand well done sorry Andre, people are not very friendly in big cities. It's not the same in small towns. So people are friendlier in small towns. Yes, friendlier. That's right. Number nine. The prime minister is an important person, but he or she is less important than the president. So the president is the. The president is the. Is the most, yes, important person. Exactly, Andrea. Last one for this exercise. People say that Chinese is difficult to learn. English is not as difficult to learn. English is not as difficult to learn. So Chinese is more difficult to learn than English yes or more uh, difficult than English to learn okay adverbs next part will be about adverbs formation and position of adverbs oops formation and position of adverbs adverbs are used to say how or how often where or in what manner in what manner we do some right let me give you examples she danced very gracefully they were all chatting happily when we arrived he drove carefully along the city uh, along the icy road right the technician explained the problem very clearly Tom often travels by train the children are playing outside Jane really likes that band now formation of adverbs most adverbs are formed by adding ly as you know to the adjective right slow slowly careful carefully let me type uh, yes careful carefully now for adjectives ending in y Y or E or I C. Well, the adverbs are formed as follows. 
happy happily humble humbly historic historically right okay but there are some exceptions of course like good what is the adverb of good well of course hard adverb <laughs> what is hard of course hard hard yes fast or fast fast again okay early early adverb of early early yes of course uh, late late again daily no not lately lately means recently oh in recent times but late is an adverb means after the usual or expected time no it's okay daily of course daily adjective daily verb adverb sorry okay straight 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 but take note of this although although the n in ly oops what's wrong yes although the end in ly the following words are adjectives not adverbs like friendly adjective lively lonely silly ugly these are adjectives not adverbs so a friendly person a silly remark an ugly duckling and so on right an ugly duckling now position of adverbs this is important position of adverbs different different types of adverbs go in different positions okay adverbs of manner adverbs of manner how these adverbs usually go after the verb they go after the object if the object if the object is long the adverb can go before the verb let's see some examples to understand he spoke clearly 